I guess, first of all, I want to thank the Council of Churches um, for this lovely honor. And I also want to congratulate the other volunteers of the year, that's Don and uh, Derek and Al, for what they do, which is so terribly important. And um, people certainly appreciate their efforts, and they should definitely be uh, commended for what they do. I think the first thing that I remember doing as a volunteer was when I was maybe eight or nine years old, and we lived in a wonderful, very diverse neighborhood. And at that time, polio was rampant, and we put together a circus, and everybody came from near and far, and we raised a total of $100. Now, for young people to do this, this is pretty incredible. Um, and we made the papers, um, and we were very excited about it. So what have I done as a volunteer? Well, I think probably the most important thing that I have done as a volunteer is that I married my husband and I had two children. Yes, I did volunteer for that and I'm certainly glad that I did. So not to take all day with this, um, I want to tell you that um, I remember volunteering. After college, I went to New York City and I wanted to do something for others and I um, mentored a little boy and on the weekends, we, we took trips. We went all over. We went to museums, to the UN, to, oh, golly, plays, etc. I'm not sure how much I did for him, but I certainly enjoyed that, that type of volunteering. Um, when I came to Binghamton, good grief, about 50 years ago, I began volunteering by taking the altar flowers from the Bema in, at Temple Concord to the sick people in the hospitals. I became a Girl Scout leader at the Presbyterian Church on the South Side, and I thoroughly enjoyed that, and I did that for a couple of years. And sometimes I see some of those scouts, and I, am, I, I marvel at their success. Such wonderful young people. I also served on the board of the Girl Scouts, um, at that time, and I met a wonderful Catholic priest, which at that time I thought I'd never do. I mean, being Jewish to meet at, and be a friend of a Catholic priest was really unheard of, but I was delighted, and I hope, I hope he's still out there um, uh, doing the wonderful things that he has done. I joined the Junior League of Binghamton, and along with Bob Best, who many people remember, of course, um, we raised money for the seats in, in now what's known as the Forum. Um, and that was, that was quite an incredible, uh, incredible feat at that time. When I'm asked to volunteer, I often ask myself the same question, why do I volunteer? And when I asked that question to my daughter Katie, um, I didn't really know what to say. And she said, Mom, don't be silly. She said, and she nailed it. You volunteer because you think you can make a difference. And she was so right. Rotary has allowed me to do this. Because of the people that I have met through this organization and the tools available for change, I became chairperson of the beautification of our area for the Empire State Games. I was appointed to the newly formed Independent Judicial Election Qualification Commission, which is a real mouthful. I initiated Rachel's Challenge for Binghamton High School to combat bullying procured a matching grant to refurnish wells and latrine, and would you believe it, Entebbe, Uganda. I brought school supplies, 70 of them, off the plane to a school in Guatemala. I initiated a grant that brought musical instruments to Theodore Roosevelt Elementary School in Binghamton. I initiated a grant to help enslaved children in India, as well as a global grant to fight addiction in Broome County and surrounding counties. And there are two accomplishments that I am terribly proud of besides my family, and that is the All Wars Memorial that stands in, in the corner of the arena, and my mentoring efforts also at the Theodore Roosevelt Elementary School. I believe I have made a difference by recognizing young men and women who lost their lives for our country and what it stands for, and then also for helping young people whose future may not be what we want for them. I want to say that I could never have accomplished this uh, without the help of my husband, Larry. He's given me a way of life that has enabled me to accomplish what I have done as a volunteer. 
He's not only supported me in most instances, he never is too happy about the telephone calls, but he is always at my side. And in conclusion, Dharma is all about living a life that promises worldly joys and heavenly happiness. Well, this language might be a little bit extreme for me, but it certainly applies to why I volunteer. It gives me great pleasure, satisfaction, and a life of purpose. Thank you. Thank you all for coming.